Arsenal nil, Aston Villa two. I don't want to listen to no bucaria. I told man that we needed a striker. And these fiddles that thought that wanted to justify to me Kai Havertz, yeah? Man looks like the German Charles, bro. The German James Charles, bro. That is the performance from flipping Havertz today. That is what that fiddle that thought that. That is the performance we got from flipping Kai Havertz today. Yeah? The German James Charles, bro. A makeup eyes. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm sick and tired of it, yeah? When man told me that he was good enough, man told me that we can get away with it. Man told me that it's okay, I'm being toxic and negative. I told these teams that puta that we needed a striker. In that first half, why didn't man like James Charles flip in score? Why? Explain to me, Filush that puta. I want to know. Why didn't Jesus, another one I told you, ain't good enough? How come Jesus, man like Cousin Skeeter, how come Cousin Skeeter didn't score in the second half, you finish that puta? Let me know. Let me know, because I tell you what, James Jesus' career at Arsenal has gone quicker than Zepi Genu getting killed off in City of God. Yeah? But these finish that puta want to tell me that I'm negative, that I'm not a real supporter. Why do my knuckles are finished that puta? I've been telling you all season, it ain't good enough. I've been telling you. We have not addressed our weaknesses. Oh, but Kai Havertz, he plays different positions. Oh, he can do this, he can do that. Fight the man who the merda. I've been saying it. But these maricas always want to be, oh, you want to be like Lee Gunner. You want to be like this. You want to be like that. Fight the man so marica da merda. Yeah? I told you, man, it ain't good enough. I told you, man, that we didn't do what is necessary. I told you, man, this manager doesn't have a plan B. He has no plan B against a low block or a mid block or whatever else bucaria that you might want to be calling it. Title is done. Akabo, Festa, Akabo. The cinema's over. Take your popcorn, take your hot dog, take your nacho with cheese and go home. It is done. I saw these Filu puta, the ones that love to run their mouth about you're not a proper Arsenal fan, leaving the stadium. Why are you leaving, Viado? Why are you leaving? Back the process, back the manager, back this book. I ain't backing nothing. I ain't backing nothing. This fucking football club every fucking year. It's the same old shit. Same old shit for 20 years. Same old shit. And man want to talk to me like I ain't seen this before. This manager is clueless. Clueless. Kai Havertz was never going to work. I'm going to get through the whole team. Don't worry about it. Because all of these finished stuff are getting the smoke today. Ningen Vashka bad. I can guarantee you that. Ningen Vashkapad. Because today is the epitome of what it's been like for an Arsenal fan in the last 20 years. Every time it matters, every time it counts, these finished up puta bend, they fold. These men are treyway of love of flipping North London, bro. The treyway of North London, bro. Man said they don't bend, they don't fall. These flipping crooks are in jail. I, I, I'm not hearing none of it, bro. None of it. All the justification for this and that and this play is good and always and that. Bro, I don't care. I don't care today. I don't care. This is why I didn't get cocky. This is why I didn't get carried away. This is why I wasn't just talking rubbish. Yeah, this is why. Today, I'm sorry. We're going to get straight into it. We're getting straight into it. Filo da puta. Kai Havertz. I've been, how many times, how many games have I said, you know what, I'm going to lay off Kai Havertz. Actually, he's making good runs, but we're not putting the ball through to Kai Havertz. We're not placing it through to Kai Havertz. We're not giving him any service. I've been letting it slide. I've been letting it slide. It ain't sliding today, filo da puta. How many times did Odegaard play the ball through to you and you didn't finish it off? How many times? I told you about this flipping German Harry Potter. Invisibility cloak has returned. Invisibility clock has returned to this filo da puta, this giraffe looking filo da puta. And today, man didn't want to get, man, didn't, man was getting barged off the ball. Are you James Charles? Are you a makeup artist? Step up, bro. Man's getting barged off the ball. Man can't control the ball. Can't shoot, can't score. Fight the man no man. What kind of nonsense is that? A man telling me, oh, but he's versatile. Why the hell is he playing in midfield? The best we've got out of him is when he's played as a striker. Why is he playing in midfield? But even then, he's not going to scrap out. You know why? Because that filo da puta was playing in the flipping, in the box, bro, like a striker. My guy was making runs. My guy had 1v1s one with a goalkeeper, not burying the team. That filo da puta, I told you, he isn't good enough. And the only way you justify buying him is if he gets us over the line. 
We ain't gonna win no major honor carrying Kai Havertz. I told you, Philly stuff, Buta, and that is what it is. Doc and Sadu, but man wanted to be like, no, let's get behind him. He can be versatile, versatile. Shut up about versatile, man. And that flipping Zinchenko. We saw Zinchenko getting cooked against Bayern. But no, Mikel Arteta. Oh no, don't worry. I want to bring him back into the team. Bring Zin Zinchenko, you fiddle da puta with no eyebrows, bro. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, you German Stuart little. I told this guy, you think you're KDB, but you're a KDB wannabe, you fiddle da puta. You'll never be KDB, bro. The best you can do is be flipping Josh for my parents are aliens. That is it, you fiddle da puta. How many times is this guy getting cooked? When they hit the crossbar, it's because Zinchenko, you fiddle da puta, giving the ball away in the box. Several times Zinchenko is trying to dribble out from the box. Several times, giving the ball away, running into traffic, putting us under pressure. Putting us under pressure. When we went on that long game streak after we beat Liverpool, winning game after game was without Zinchenko. But this manager, I swear down, I don't know what he's got. Zinchenko must have Diddy nudes, yeah? And uh, Diddy styled stuff, uh, evidence on Arteta, because every time this Filo Daputa has to play, why does he have to play? Every time he puts us under pressure, Trossard had to drop in deep to do Zinchenko's role. Gabriel looks all over the place because of flipping Zinchenko. Why do we always have to cater for flipping Zinchenko? That fill that boot is not good enough. It ain't good enough. Tired of this crap, man. Every week, it's the same on Bukaria every single time. The experiment of Zinchenko hasn't worked. He's not KDB. Yeah? One, two little passes. You are defender, fill that boot. Defend. Defend. I'm sick and tired of it, man. Why is this guy playing as a fullback? For this. Tired of it, man. Tired of it. I'm done. Suck out that flipping Spanish Enrique Glazes. Suck that flipping Paella Pulis. I don't care. I'm done with this guy, bro. He's a bum. Once again, we're not going to win a major honor, bro. We ain't winning a major honor. And if you think that we're going to win the Champions League, back to my knuckle, we ain't winning nothing, bro. We ain't winning nothing. Tired of it. Saka again with another cold out black performance, but they finished up with the won't talk about it. Oh, because it's Saka, doesn't matter. Oh, just oh, let's oh, it's racial. Fight the man, cool, man. Every player that's supposed to be a top player gets criticized. What are we talking about? Is Harlem not getting criticized for not scoring enough goals? Is that racial? It's got nothing to do with racial, so viado da merda. It's about your performance, bro. And when you're supposed to be one of the best players or potentially world class, that is the expectation that's placed on you. And this guy's been dropping stink after stink, and I've been saying it. Oh, but because he scores one goal. Oh, no, Saka's having a good game. Where was Saka today? Where was Saka today, bro? Where was Saka today? Can I tell you what? If he doesn't develop into the player you guys think he, he is, yeah? He'll be playing for Nigeria instead of playing for England, bro. He'll be playing for Nigeria. Feel that book, I'm tired of it, bro. I'm tired of it. But every time, every time he drops a stinker because he's limping, doing a da na 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 na, Saka steps on the stone. Ow! You know what I mean? So my niggas don't dance, we just pull up a pants and do the rock away. Now lean back, lean back. Every time bad performance, lean back, lean back. How about perform, Filo da puta? I'm sick and tired of this guy getting protected all the time. Via da merda. Perform, man. Perform. Rice again, getting cooked again. Another dreadful performance by Rice as well. Getting cooked as well. Looking like Rylan from X Factor. Looking like Rylan on a Tesco advert, bro. What's going on? I'm sick and tired of seeing this guy with this stupid peaky blinders hairstyle, bro. I'm tired of it, bro. Perform. This guy thinks he's auditioning for flipping, uh, for flipping, for flipping, the, 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 the flipping New York Mafia, bro. Every time slick hair, perform, filo da puta. You're getting cooked all over. And this ain't the first time. Every time, slip back, slip back, slip back. Fuck the slip back, bro. Perform. Man's getting run through against Mr. Good Evening. Nah, talk and saddle, man. Every time we do... Nah, I'm done. I told, man, I've been seeing Declan Rice doing Bobby from Only Ways Essex performances. But no, it's Rice. Oh, we don't want to say anything because at the end of the season, we want to have the narrative of we have the best transfer of all the top clubs, Rice was signing of the season. Vital Manuqua couldn't care less, bro. Perform. Perform. Via the merda. Tired of it, man. Tired of it. But these men never want to call it out. The stack, sack of stinking performances have been here all season. Zinchenko getting cooked has been here all season, bro. 
Did we not learn? When we lost 1-0 to flipping from to flipping Aston Villa early on in the season, they scored one goal. It came down Zinchenko's side. Does this manager not learn anything? Has he not learned anything? Via do da merda. Tired of it, man. Jesus is done, bro. He's done. This guy is done, bro. Send that fiddle da puta back to the favelas, bro. He can go link up with Adriano and go live your life out there, bro. Because you are not a Premier League player, bro. And this, this fiddle da puta had the nerve before to be talking about, oh, people think that, oh, uh, uh, compare me to Harry Kane. You can't really compare because we play in different positions. Right, to Manuku. You ain't going to flip and try and gas like me, you fiddle da puta. You ain't good enough, bro. You ain't good enough. That is a reality. Yeah? You're a Brazilian Fredo. That is what you are, bro. And that's what you're always going to be. Brazilian Fredo, Brazilian Castastic. That is what you are. You feel that puta. Tired of this guy, bro. Tired of this guy. All this guy really is, it's Wellington Silva in disguise, bro. This is what this guy is. Wellington Silva, do your Googles, bro. Is that Arsenal? He died. Wasn't good enough. Tell me the difference between Jesus and Marquinhos. Feel that puta. Tired of it, bro. And Arteta's been doing this whole with Rick Iglesias, bailando, bailando, for the process. You man shaking your bum, I've never shook my bum. You know why? Because I know this manager ain't good enough. And I know this team is not strong enough to win major honours, bro. But no, look at the points. Nobody expected us to be here. Oh, the Champions League is, is weak this year. Oh, the Premier League, oh, we've got the best run. Oh, look at our form. Oh, Aston Villa, oh, we just rolled them over. I told you, Phyllis da puta, with games to go, Man United... Tottenham and Aston Villa and Chelsea are going to be potential banana skins. Oh, no. They're trash. They're rubbish. They're not going to do anything. Don't worry about it. We'll steamroll them. Steamroll them. Steamroll them, you foolish that puta. Say something now. That's the merda. Tired of it, man. Tired of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Tired of it. Man, we're trying to justify to me. Oh, no. Don't get on to, don't get on to, don't get on to the centre-backs after buying. You know what I mean? Don't get onto them. It's only a one-off game. It's only a one-off game. They're not going to do that again. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do that again. But guess what? Guess what? Saliba and Gabriel, were they good enough today? Were they good enough today? Were they good enough today? Let me ask you. Were they good enough today? No, they wasn't. And you know what? We can't play anybody else in that situ in that position because everybody else is on my pukaria. So it doesn't matter what, who you put there. Everybody else is levels behind. So we're going to have to carry on with these two. Yeah? Saliba and Gabriel. Phil and Lil will continue at centre-back, making stinkers, making howlers, making stupid decisions because we have no other better centre-backs to actually give them any competition. And who's that down to? This flipping Phil da puta in Arteta. Saka doesn't have competition. Jesus and Havertz. Both ain't clinical. The centre-backs, we have no rotation. And this manager actually had the nerve. This Filo da puta had the nerve to take off Ben White. Ben White was our best defender, you Filo da puta. He was our best defender. You're taking him off. But you're keeping on Zinchenko. When we're getting cooked, you're keeping on Zinchenko. You absolute Filo da puta. We deserve to lose today. We deserve, and all the arrogant Arsenal fans that don't ever want to hear, because oh, I don't want to be toxic and negative. I don't want to speak like that. I want to speak like I'm going on Scottish sports. Vai tomar no cu, so marica da merda. Chupacabra. Tired of it, bro. Tired of it. I'm tired of it. It's a joke. Today, everybody was trash. Everybody was trash. Probably the best player today, best player today was probably Odegaard, and he got taken off. For once, I actually thought it was a game that Odegaard shouldn't have got taken off. Why does he get why does he get taken off? Why does he get taken off? Explain to me. Explain to me. In that first, that second half is the worst second half I've seen all season. You finish that puta. Sack Arteta today. Sent sack him by text, by email, by BB pin, WhatsApp, whatever. I don't care. Sack that fino da puta out of my club today. El to cansado de esa merda. Get him out of the club. This guy is not good enough. Chossard today. How many times have I defended you? You play well. You get dropped. This and that. You started today. You're striking the ball in the box straight to the goalkeeper. Or you're striking it wide. Where is the clinicalness in this team? But I said it would happen. But do you know what these finish da puta told me? No, sir, don't be negative. We spread the goals round. We spread the goals. I don't worry. Yeah, everybody in the team will score goals. Yeah, did that happen today? So finish that puta. Did that happen today? 
I told man, they'll always come again where we're gonna we're gonna struggle to break down teams and score goals. Oh, it doesn't matter. You don't need a clinical goal scorer. Man City won the league without a clinical goal scorer. Cool. So how come we ain't doing it? How come we ain't doing it? You absolute bulldog. Tired of it, bro. Trossard was dreadful today in his finishing, bro. Everything else was excellent. The passing was good. The finishing was trash. Jesus as well. I am done with this bum. I'm done. These men tried to justify to me, Jesus. Oh, look at the work rate. I told you, foolish that that. You man were ready to get rid of Lacazette. Work rate didn't save Lacazette. Yeah? Lack of goals didn't save Lacazette. You man were done with Lacazette. But when it's Jesus, oh no, don't worry. Look at the work rate. It's the things he does off the ball. Shut up, man. Shut up. You absolute finish that puta. You men are probably playing with bulls like Epstein. Do you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? It's what he does off the ball. You finish that puta. You men are playing with bulls like Diddy and Epstein. Fight the man who about, oh, what he does off the ball. Cala boca, man. Viage da merda. Tired of it, bro. Tired of it. These men, yeah, always moving the goalposts. They only really rated Aubameyang, but all of a sudden when it's Jesus and Havertz, look at what they do off the ball. You'll never understand what they do off the ball. It's those things, you, you know, it's hard to explain what they do off the ball. Cala boca, they're not good enough. They're not good enough. Saka, another trash performance. But guess what? We don't have anyone that can actually fill in. Because when you, man, were sitting there talking pukaria to me about, oh, no, it's okay, no side. It's all right. Just keep playing Saka. Really? So why were you, man, twerking when we re-signed Reese Nelson? If Reese Nelson can't get a game when Saka's out of form, what was the point of re-signing Reese Nelson? Tell me why. Do you know why? Because you don't really rate Reese Nelson. So when the going gets rough, you'll stick with Saka because you don't really rate Reese Nelson. But you just twerk for whatever this flipping football club does and whatever this fucking football club says. I'm done with it, bro. It's an absolute embarrassment. Havertz, we've seen he's had decent form playing as a striker. This, this manager says, you know what? Now, I know better than everybody else. Play him as a midfielder. Even though we carried him for 18 to 19 games of the season when he was dropping stinker after stinker playing as a midfielder, a game that we have to win, a game where Liverpool have lost and dropped points, instead of capitalising, this is the game where you start trying to flip and change things. Like Arteta, you absolute Spanish clown. I'm tired of this guy, bro. I'm tired of this guy. Pack your things. Go down to Costa del Sol and call it a day. You are a bum. You are the Spanish Brendan Rodgers. You are the Spanish Gerard as a manager. That is what you are. You ain't good enough. You ain't good enough. I'm done. Maybe go do go go to Milan and start going doing catwalk and doing all that all that crap because you ain't good enough today. You ain't good enough. Declan Rice, like I'm saying, absolutely trash. Odegaard actually was trying to create stuff. He was actually trying to create stuff. Today, the biggest thing I've been getting onto Odegaard, I actually think today he was doing. He was putting uh, Havots through. He was putting Jesus through. He was he was actually did a really good pass into Saka. Odegaard actually played decently today. He wasn't amazing, but he actually played decent. I'm not getting onto Odegaard today because he actually performed well. And I'm not the biggest fan of Odegaard, but Odegaard actually played decently. He's the only one that can say, you know what? I flipping tried today. I tried, yeah? He's not, he's not a striker, so I ain't going to put it on him that he ain't scoring week in, week out. But in terms of creativity, he was doing he was making the right decisions and playing the right through balls. So I ain't even going to get onto him today, yeah? I'm not going to get onto him. The Norwegian homelander, you can, you can chill today. I'm not really going to grill you today. Zinchenko, sell that filo da puta today. I'm done with this guy, bro. I am done with Zinchenko, bro. This Nick Carter from Backstreet Boys, I'm done. Send him back to Ukraine, bro. Send him back to Ukraine. I don't care if it's safe. I don't care what's going on there. Send him back, bro. Because this guy ain't playing like he wants to stay here. He ain't playing like he wants to stay in England. This guy looks like he wants to go back. So go back. Pay for his flight. Get him on an easy jet flight. And get this filo da puta out of my club. This guy can't defend. This guy can't pass the ball. This guy can't do anything, bro. This guy is a shambles of a player. Well, well done, Mikel Arteta. If you wanted to change it up, you know better than everybody else. Well done. League is done. Well done. Gabriel Saliba. For the second goal, where were you? Where were you? Dutch Avelli. Where were you? Where were you? That second goal was an absolute disgrace. 
both goals were an absolute disgrace. But my God, the way we got opened up was an absolute disgrace. Absolute. I'm not putting it on Raya. For me, it's not on Raya. For me, it's not on Raya. I'm done with this, bruv. Yeah? The defending was an absolute joke. For the no, the first bro, both goals. Why is ESR the only player back to try and defend Watkins? No, I'm done with this crap, bro. I'm done with this crap. What kind of defending is that? The whole flipping year. Oh, we got the best centre back pairing in Europe. Oh, we're the best defended club in Europe. What was that? What was that? ESR, the last man defending against Watkins. Sack this manager, bro. Sack this fiddle that put that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You can't justify this crap to me, bro. I don't care. Get him gone, bro. I'm done with Arteta. Sack him today, bro. Sack him today. We ain't winning in nothing, bro. The first goal. Let's, let's get through the first goal first. Havertz is defending as a, as a right back. Yeah? Be Declan Rice is defending when the ball gets put through the box. Defending as a left back. Gabriel falling all over the place and they score. Where was our defenders, bro? Where was Tomiyasu? Where was Zinchenko? But I knew that these Finu Staputa would not defend properly. This is a joke, man. It's a joke. Where was Tomiyasu? When the ball's getting crossed through, where's Zinchenko? The same way we always know where he's at. In the fucking midfield. Done with this crap, bro. Absolute joke of a goal to concede. I don't care. The second goal, Jorginho giving the ball all the hype about Jorginho. Oh, Jorginho has got Champions League experience. Why do I not call about Champions League experience, bro? I told you about this guy and his Italian unibrow. He ain't good enough, bro. He ain't good enough, bro. But no. Oh, he can do a job. Oh, jo oh Jorginho. Yeah, really? So why are you giving the ball away in the midfield? With start of their counter attack. Long ball over the top to Oli Watkins. Only ESRs, but I'm sorry. The whole team gets blamed for that. The whole team. I might want to justify this book here to me. Sack out to today, bro. Sack that field of that And any fan that doesn't like that, fuck off to flipping support Brentford or fuck off to support Wallstone Raiders or fuck off to support fucking Barney or something. Because I'm sick and tired of this book here, bro. It's an absolute disgrace today. Absolute disgrace. We could have taken advantage today, but you know what we, you know what we said? Oh, Liverpool, oh, you're bottling it. Don't worry. Hold my drink. Yeah? Top Arsenal are back. Don't worry about it. And all these Philly stuff that want to scream about, oh, Arsenal doesn't get enough props. And all that. Do you know why? Because every single time the pressure's on, we bottle it. That's why. That's why. My man is telling me about, oh, why don't we get the respect that we want? Why do teams talk about us like this? This is why, bro. This is why. Done, bro. No, I need to breathe, man. Oh, fucking letting me down all the time, bro. <sighs> what did we do in that second half? Explain to me what we did in that second half. What did we do, bro? Explain to me the tactics. All these finished up that told me we can score from a set piece. Oh, we, we, we play controlled football. Where was that today? I told you we're not going to consistently be able to play like that. But you, man, don't listen to me. And now we got dunked by Mr. Good Evening. Nah, man. I'm not hearing it, bro. I'm not hearing none of it, bro. I'm not hearing none of it. The excuses are incredible. We did nothing. Zinchenko giving the ball away so Tielemans can smash it on the post. <sighs> Am I... <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, my days. A man were doing Arsenal starting 11's comparisons with Real Madrid. <laughs> Oh, meu Deus. Eu já tô cansado. The project has failed. It has failed. It's time to let this fucking dickhead manager go. It is done. Get me somebody that can win. Get me Inzaghi. Get me Simeone. Get, I don't give a shit, bro. Dash money out there. I don't care, bro. Make it rain like it's Las Vegas. Get a top manager in this club because this manager has taken us as far as he could get us. I'm done with this. I've got man calling me, man ringing me, man flipping messaging me on WhatsApp like I got deluded. I never got deluded, bro. I always knew this. 
Because this manager ain't good enough, bro. I never drank the flipping top goon of Kool-Aid, bro. Because I knew no one's going to try and gaslight me, bro. I've been supporting this club since 95, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Man can't tell me about how I feel about my club. We've been bottling it since 04, bro. A man are trying to tell me about, oh, no, you'll be a negative. I'll this. Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. I fucking love this club. And this club's let me down. This club is the reason I've become the way I am. This fucking club, bro. Because before 04, I was the happiest fucking fan. But you know what? This club is taking it out of me. It's taking everything out of me, bro. Oh, you're toxic. You're the lead. Shut the fuck up. Tired of it, bro. Sitting here watching this shit since 04. Bottling after bottle after bottle after bottle. And man want to put it on me. Am I the one that makes the flipping boardroom decisions? Am I the one that puts the players out? Am I the one that does the team sheet? But because I won't say, oh, wow, amazing, 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 amazing. Fuck off, man. Don't care. Tired of it, man. Tired of it. Most time, man's dropping jokes and dropping to, to masquerade how angry I am with this club, bro. This club does the same crap year in, year out. Same crap. When I told, man, we need another fullback. We need another centre-back. We need another number 10. We need another deep-line playmaker. We need a right winger. We need a striker that can score goals. You're, being, you're asking for too much. You're being toxic and negative. Really? Tell me something now. Tell me something now. Let's get into the highlights of the game. Let's get into the highlights of the game. Let me just quickly. Uh, Odegaard threw ball to Saka in the first half. Crap cross. Trossard threw ball to Havertz in the box. It hits the goalkeeper. Amazing. Amazing. Zinchenko with a dead cross. Weren't surprised by that. Zinchenko long ball into Havertz in the box. He strikes it straight at the goalkeeper. Well done. Saka cross in the box to Jesus, hits the side netting. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <sighs> Villa counter, Zinchenko nowhere to be seen. Trossard has to fall back to win the ball. <laughs> oh my days, this is all in the first half. Jesus in the edge of the box, get his shot blocked. Zinchenko running into Villa players, losing the ball. Amazing. Amazing. Odegaard threw ball to Havertz. He gets barged off the ball. <sighs> man's like six foot five and man's getting barged off the ball. Do you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's like Shaquille O'Neal. Havertz getting barged off the ball today was literally like Kendrick Lamar trying to barge Shaquille O'Neal. And Shaquille O'Neal falls to the ground. This guy, bro, man's got height for nothing, bro. For nothing. Man might as well be the size of flipping Kendrick Lamar. Gabriel passed to Zinchenko, who's not paying attention, hits the back of him, and Aston Villa hit the post off of the back of that. Well, well done, Gabriel. Well done. Well done, Gabriel. Yeah? Just pass to the back of Zinchenko, a little rebound, so then Aston Villa can have a counter-attack. You absolute filu da puta. Oh, bruv. Whatever, man. Jesus to Trossard in the box, hits it right at the goalkeeper. This fucking club, bruv. This fucking club, bruv. I swear down. I'm sweating like a... I don't even know, bruv. I swear down this fucking shit. Saka shot in the box. Goes wide. Jesus wins the ball to Trossard, who can't control the ball. Through ball to Havertz in the box, who squares it. Havertz in the ball. You get a through ball and you square it to nobody. What is this flipping German ghostbuster doing, bro? What are you doing? You absolute viado da merda. What was that? What was that? You didn't even look up to see who's there. You filo da puta. You absolute clown. I'm tired of this guy, bro. I'm tired of Havertz, bro. I'm tired of Havertz, bro. I told this guy I did not want this filo da puta at the club, bro. I told man. I told man I didn't want this guy at the club. But no. Let's make it work. Let's see if it goes good. Fuck off, man. Tired of it, man. Feel that puta, not good enough, bro. Not good enough. Tired of it, bro. Just fed up of it, man. Fed up of it. 
telling you, bro. Kai Havertz, that filler that put that in, gonna sell that Viado at the end of the season. I don't need a makeup artist, yeah? I don't need James Charles. I need a fucking striker, bro. Not James Charles. That is not what I need. I'm tired of it, bro. This flipping German Harry Potter with the invisibility cloak. I'm tired of this guy, bro. I'm tired of this guy. This guy looks like one of the three brothers out of Ed, Ed and Eddie, bro. I don't need that, bro. This German Peter Crouch. I'm done with this feel of that puta, man. Get him out of my club, bro. Get him out of my club. Viad da merda. Second half. Can't even get through the whole game highlights without getting hot, man. Second half, Jesus, that wasn't a pen. I'm not even going to get into it. They robbed us. They robbed us. All the referee, all the VAR. Don't no Arsenal fan even dare talk to me about, oh, Jesus should have got a penalty. Right to my knuckle. Go suck your mum about he deserves a penalty. I don't even, I'm not even going to get into that one day. We're not going to do that one again. We got robbed. We got robbed. Shut up, man. We're not even going to get into that. We're not even going to get into that. Long ball to Jesus, he's offside. Well done, you filo da puta. Well done. Well done, offside. Dead cross from Trossard. Zinchenko loses the ball. Taylorman smashes off the crossbar. Bro, it was coming. It was coming. But the filo da puta didn't learn. They didn't want to change. Tired of it, man. Saka to Jesus. Shot straight at the goalkeeper. Bro, the experiment is done. This manager's taken us. Bro, before he starts making this side regress, we need to sack our tether, bro. Sack our tether, bro. Sack this field up. I'm done with this now. I'm done, bro. I'm done. Zinchenko out of position. Bro, <laughs> am I surprised? And then the two goals. Let me tell you this. Let's go back. Let's go back to let's go back to the substitutions. Let's go back to the substitutions. Ben White is our best defender. Do you know what Mikel Arteta says? Guys, sorry guys, please come together guys. We're going to push it together. We're going to work it together guys. Look at the light bulb. Get the flipping microphone out guys. This is like carnival. This is Spanish carnival. Paella carnival. Guys, we're going to take off Ben White and we're going to put trust out there. You absolute marica da merda. What kind of decision is that? Taking off Ben White, yeah, to bring on Tommy Asu. Why are you bringing him off if he's the best, if he's the best defender, bro? Yeah? But don't worry, guys. Flipping Ricky Glazes. What kind of flipping decision was that? Take off Zinchenko, you fill that puta. Done with this guy, bro. Done, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Done with this guy. Outside, inside. Ah, live la vida loca. This fucking bum. I'm done with Arteta, bro. I'm done with this fill that puta, bro. Get him out of my club, bro. Done, done, done with this guy, bro. Then you're bringing, then you're taking off flipping Trossard to bring on Martinelli. What's about Saka? What is it with you and Saka, bro? I swear down, Arteta wants to be the Spanish Madonna, bro. This obsession with young black African kids. What is it, bro? What is it, bro? This guy wants to turn Arsenal into the flipping Netherlands, bro. This guy's like Michael Jackson. I want to do it for the kids. I want to do it for the kids. Take that field up, put that off the pitch, bro. Saka was trash. Don't, don't go anywhere, Tito. Hey, Tito, come back. Bubbles, Bubbles, come back. We're all going to do it with Saka. Come back, guys. Come back, Bubbles, Saka. Oh, oh guys, we're going to the Neverland Ranch. You feel that put that. Done with this guy, bro. Done with this guy, bro. Why are you taking... Why, why are you not taking a sucker, bro? Fiatta merda. So, oh, I'm so hot, bro. I swear I'm just... Bro, I'm boiling, bro. I swear down. Boiling, bro. You take off Odegaard. He's our best player. You take off our best defensive player and you take off our most creative player in the game. This guy has got to be a special level... Of, of special, bro. I'm telling you, it makes no sense. So ESR played well against Luton. You don't want to give him any game time. But when shit hits the fan, now you want to give ESR some game time. Make that shit make sense, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? But you know what? Doesn't matter. Yeah? Because Top Gooners were saying, it's written in the stars. Shine bright like a diamond. Whoa, whoa. Shine bright like a diamond. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Yeah, written in the stars, you filus that puta. Written in the stars. Yeah? Yeah, you man deserve to hold that. 
Because I've been telling you ain't good enough. I've been telling you finish that put ain't good enough. Dickheads, bro. Dickheads. Jesus coming up for Z Jorginho. <laughs> and he's the reason for the second goal. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, one day I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm telling you, bruv. One day, I'm telling you, I'm going to be like, the, I'm going to be like Tony Soprano's mum. I just wish the Lord would take me now, bruv. I swear, Dan, I'm so sick and tired of being an Arsenal fan, bruv. It's, the, oh my God. Every year, bruv. Every year. Every year. And then, after not playing ESR for so long, yeah? After not playing ESR for so long, do you know what this manager does? He's like, guys, we are not finished, guys. What is better, guys? The journey of the destination, guys. Bring on Inketia, guys. Bring on Inketia. You feel the puta. Why are you bringing on Inketia? What is Inketia going to do? What's he going to do? Has he been saving you recently? But you haven't learned that this guy ain't good enough. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys, because we got the Paniel. We got the Paniela Carnival. Hey, guys, don't worry. Yeah, 87 minutes. Bring on Inketia, guys. You feel the puta. You absolute clown. You absolute clown. Rua, you feel the puta. Rua, to the streets. Get out of this flipping club, bro. You absolute bum. And now, I will be putting the link out. Anyone wants to jump on, have their say. Tired of it, bruv. Tired of it, bruv. Tired of it. This is why I never got gas. This is why I never got taken. And everyone's like, you'll believe. Look at what you're doing. Look at this. Look at that. Dibby, 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 dibby. Shut up, man. Shut up. League is done. And if you think we're going to win the Champions League, you're more delusional than I thought you was. If you're one of those people that still think we can win the league, you think we're going to win the Champions League, yeah? Yeah, we may get passed by. And trust me, we ain't doing nothing. We ain't doing nothing, bro. Right, the first ones to be in are the first ones that are going to jump on. <sighs> bro, swear down, bro. All right, hold on. <clears throat> All right, the other two are waiting to connect. What's bro, good, man? What's good? Oh, let's go first with the Arsenal fan. Hold on. Let's go first with the Arsenal fan. The book I'll of... about one second. What are you telling me, bro? Pissed. Pissed doesn't even begin to describe what I'm feeling right now. You know, when I, when I saw that lineup, I knew, I knew, I knew. I think Zinchenko, when we've been screaming, don't bring this guy back in at left back. Don't bring him back in at left back. We know what's going to happen. He's never going to be there when you need him. He's always going to turn up in positions that he doesn't need to be in. You know what I'm saying? He's a freaking left back, but he doesn't play left back, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? So seeing that, I've seen the fact that we had Havertz in midfield. We've seen that for most of the season. And we know that it didn't work. We saw that it didn't work, but yet he persisted with it. Jesus up top. You know, we've seen this for the majority of the season and it didn't work. Why are we playing this? Why did we go back to what didn't work at the beginning of the season? Why? It just shows the incompetence and the arrogance of this manager to think that he could do something, even though it's against a depleted Villa side, it's still a Villa side that's fourth in the table. You know, you shouldn't take this team lightly because they're well-coached, well-drilled, and they beat us earlier this season. So why are we taking them lightly? You know what I'm saying? They still have most of their players. Leon Bailey, you know, freaking Musa Diaby, Oli Watkins, John McGinn. They, they, they still have ballers. Ezri Kanza, absolutely locked off that off that right side. You know what I'm saying? It is absolutely ridiculous. Why, why is Havertz in midfield? Why is he in midfield? Why isn't why isn't Smith Rowe given a chance? You know? Why didn't Partey get any minutes? You know what I'm saying? Like they either either one of those two could have started. Any one of those two could have started, we would have had a much better game. You know, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't I don't understand why why did you go back to a system that didn't work? You know, for the majority of the season it didn't work. And it cost us games and it cost us points and it cost us today. Why? I, I, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted at the fact that this manager just had the absolute arrogance to, you know, go back to a system that didn't work and we got panned for it. We deserve it. We deserve it. 
you know, we got all these Arsenal fans, all these top gooners talking about, oh, yeah, this team gets in, you know, this, this is the best team in the world. We're playing the best football in the world. We're playing the sexiest football in the world. Where was that today? Where was that today? Why is soccer not being dragged off? Why did Jesus not? Why, 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 why do we start Jesus? Why did Trossard get dragged? You know, why, did, why, why aren't we playing Nelly up top when we know he's a striker and he's not a winger? We we know this. Why why isn't like why isn't our left side getting help? Like we we've said that we've we've had these same issues all year. All of our attacks seem to go through the right. It's so transparent. It's so you know it is it, so easy to defend against because you know what's happening. You know, I, I just I just don't get it. I don't I don't understand why this manager is you know. I don't understand why he thinks that he can that that he thinks he's Pep. I don't understand why he thinks he can do certain things. When he knows it doesn't work, I, I, I I'm, I'm just, I I'm just confused. He's cleverer than what he is, bro. I think he's, he's cleverer than what he is. But I, I completely hear what you're saying. Um, I, w- I want to get Arsenal fans first. I will get to you, Ahmed. Um, yeah, no, Manny, what, what, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you make of today, bro? First of all, brother, let me just say right now that I do hope you don't have a heart attack. If there are any Chelsea fans watching this, I'd like to say, remember what's happened to Abrevid Saha, better known as the Angry Rant Man. Recently, the poor fellow had to have open heart surgery, a valve replacement. And although the latest news is that he is in a stable condition, he's still not out of danger. His organs have been affected. So, Northside, brother, I hope you pray. I pray that you don't let this affect your health. Life is too short to worry about a team which really doesn't give a crap about you. Um, get some exercise, get some cardio, go to the gym. I go to the gym, but you look a lot slimmer and fitter than me. I think um, you need to um, get some training, maybe become a marathon runner. I think you'll do really well. And I hope that you'll be okay. And secondly, I want to come over here and be the first one to say this. To all of those arrogant Arsenal fans, those flop gooners um, who had the temerity to disrespect Unai Emery and Emmy Martinez and call them, you know, um, has-beens or idiots who never deserved to be a part of our club, and we were glad we got rid of Emery, and Martinez has too much of an ego. He's overrated, nowhere near as good as he thinks he is. In the words of your favorite manager, shut your mouths and eat it. You deserve this. You deserve to hold this, as Northside would say. You deserve this loss for the arrogance that you've, that you've shown. How you mocked Emmy last season after he conceded that goal from Jorginho. Peter Schmeichel conceded a similar goal against us from David Rocastle back in the day. I don't know if people remember that. I dare any of you idiots to say that Schmeichel was overrated. And now Emmy has come back today. Two clean sheets this season. This one more satisfying. And all those fans who were saying Aston Villa robbed us of a win, we were the better team at Villa Park. This time around, we have no excuses. They hit the post twice. They proved why they're such a magnificent counter-attacking team. But why I'm also angry is that they made me look a fool. I predicted a 3-1 win like an idiot because I believe that without Douglas <coughs> Louise in the midfield, without Matthew Cash at right back, with a makeshift defense, Villa would struggle. And yet we somehow managed to make them good, look good. I will give Arteta some credit because I think the reason why he wanted to bring Zinchenko into the starting lineup today was because he wanted to take advantage of Arsenal's weakened midfield because he had to put in Zaniolo and Rodgers today um, and was obviously um, trying to um, select the team with um, their um, conference league quarterfinal second leg in mind. They have a narrow advantage going into France, but they need to keep their players um, f- fresh and fit. And obviously, um, Louis will still um, play um, in that league. But I tell you what, I tell you what, you know, the fact that they were able to um, hold their own against us, I mean, Odegaard had a wonderful game, but he had no support today. What happened to Declan Rice? Either undercooked or burnt. Not another reminder that rice today made me feel like eating roti. I swear. And, and he's, uh, been wonky. Jordan... he's been wonky. This ain't the first game. Absolutely. 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 And even Georgie Porgy putting in pie, who made a mistake in the NLD and made us all cry. And because the Spurs came out to play, that's two precious points that we threw away. And we've thrown three away today, because partly because of him. Our defense was hardly anywhere to be seen. What really made me angry about Zinchenko's defensive um, ineptitude was how he didn't seem to make any attempt to want to try and turn to get the um, ball as, as it was. And he allowed Ezri Konsa. Ezri Konsa, imagine, of all people, to cook him a new one. 
disgusting. And um, all those people who were, in a way, I, I think it's fair to say that Esri Consa proved today that he is everything as a right back that Ben White will never be. I mean, Ben White didn't have a bad game. He was playing reasonably well, but there were moments when he was also looking a little bit shaky at times. I can't lie. We have to keep it real. So although we were pressing Villa very well and the Zinchenko selection looked to be justified, it was always going to be a, a bit of a risk. But the problem is, this is also karma for us for getting rid of Kieran Tierney. We need a solid, proper defensive left back. And we need a manager who's smart enough to know how to use him and not force him to play a system in which he feels comfortable. If Tierney was starting today, yes, he'd make the overlapping runs. He'd contribute to the midfield. But he also would not allow himself to be cooked by Esri Konza, of all people, and company. This defeat falls on Arteta for his um, arrogance in not managing the game. It also definitely falls on the fans who saw it a bit to disrespect Unai Emery. I want to call out this idiot named Le Grove. I don't know his real name. But this idiot has been on Emery's case since the beginning of the season. He even saw it fit to um, repost an article in the Mirror trying to discredit Emery for having an affair with some person known as the White Witch and saying that, um, basically parroting this narrative that under Unai Emery, Arsenal had some horrible, horrible days and we are so glad that we got rid of him. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, we've had now even more horrible days under Arteta than Emery. Arteta's managed us now for about, um, will be managed, managed for four seasons. I can definitely give you some horrible, horrible moments. Add this one to the list. Add the uh, Villarreal semi-final defeat where he took off Aubameyang after, hitting, after he hit the post and brought on Willian Borges. Add so many more moments, which I don't even want to name, because if I think about them and name them, my blood's going to boil. I don't want to get a heart attack either. But um, the reason why away. we're not wow. going to win the league, and I promise you, Carl, I know you're waiting patiently, mate. I'm going to make sure you get your chance to say it, and I will shut up. But the reasons why we are not going to win the league are the arrogance and ineptitude of Mikel Arteta as a manager with his ass backwards tactics, and the arrogance of our fans who gas up this idiot as the greatest manager since um, um, uh, since uh, whoever, I don't care. The arrogance as well of, of um, the fans who saw it fit to disrespect Unai Emery and Emi Martinez, and uh, basically, you know, our players as well for the entire, you know, for the complacency and the arrogance that we've shown. And I remember saying on an earlier stream that it's always our ex-players and or ex-employees who come back to hurt us. Last season, it was Danny Welbeck and Theo Walcott. This season, Alex Iwobi, Willian Borges, Bernd Leno, Konstantinos Mavropanos, Joe Willock at St. James's Park with that cross. And now, add Unai Emery and Emi Martinez to the score. Arteta, you really have, are now becoming a reason why we're not going to win because you can't man-manage people. Your tactics have been found out. We need to move on from you ASAP, but we know that we won't. Roll on next season. At the end of next season, he'll still be, he'll still be here at the end of the season. But next season, if he doesn't win anything, We've all got to revolt and say enough's enough. Jog on and don't you dare come back. No, fair enough. Listen, before I move on to everybody else to have their say, uh, let me just get through the super chats real quick. Uh, big up to you, Baron, for the super chat. Uh, Jesus could not finish on Angelina White, uh, for fuck's sakes. Big up to you, bro. Um, Gom Gomzemelo. Uh, end of the season, we ain't beaten Bayern. Big up to you for the super chat. But we ain't winning the Champions League. And if, even if we beat Bayern, we ain't winning the Champions League. This live stream is my therapy at this point. Sick of this manager and this team not good enough. I tell you, I always take too long to make freaking changes. Facts, bro. Something we used to get onto Wenger about. But now we got with this manager. Love for the super chat. Arteta has bottled it in three years in a row. Needs to go. Facts. Um, sorry for you uh, to lose, but your effing fan base, bro. Egal is the jinx of a lifetime bantering LFC fans minutes before your game. Football gods are real. Crazy. Crazy. Love for the super chat. Arteta is a spicy Brondon Rogers. Uh, run me and Zagi. Big up to you, Book of Eli, bro. Love to you. I just want to say this before I move on and let everybody else have their say. This game, when you're seeing Kai Havertz isn't performing well, take him off, bring on Partey, get Partey sitting and shielding the back line because Rice was getting cooked. Tell Rice to make late runs into the box and instruct Ben White to start whipping in crosses. Because that was working before. You could have changed that. So you could have had Partey and Rice in that midfield. And then Odegaard, you could have taken off. Odegaard should have stayed. I actually think Odegaard played a, a good game. Before you're taking of Jesus and Trossard, Saka's absolutely doing nothing. I'm not saying that Jesus and Trossard was amazing. But at least they're having chances. 
What was Saka doing? He had one shot, bro. Other, one shot that went wide and he had a header that he put over the crossbar. Other than that, he was doing nothing. At least Trossard was taken on his man. At least they were trying to do something. So I understand taking off Jesus, but Saka should be taken off as well. And it should have been Trossard, Martinelli, and bring on somebody else because Saka and Jesus were absolutely terrible. Instead of taking off Ben White, why not just take off Zinchenko and bring off Thomas Partey? I mean, Tommy Asu on the left-hand side. All of a sudden, you've got what Ben White gives you. Defensively good, but he can also go forward. Those are changes that you could have just made. Listen, with the centre-back thing I've been saying, we've got no other option. Because we never went out there and got a, a, a centre-back that can actually compete with Gabriel and Saliba. So if they get injured or if they're in bad form, we can't change it up. Because we don't have anybody else that can play in that, in that position to their level. That's poor management from this manager. But once again, what do, what do we know? We're just toxic and negative. Let's go to uh, Ahmad. Um, what, what, what do you make of this game, bro, as a Bayern fan? Are you more confident for the second leg? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I know we just lost the league at the same time as you lost to Leverkusen. They were celebrating like crazy. Congrats to them, first of all. Uh, but uh, yeah, listen, I was, see, I was watching your game and I have to admit, I am confused with why I'm. I'm don't get me wrong. I, I, mean, I know you you shit on Havertz, but I mean, if you put him in the right position, I actually do think he'll give you something to an extent. But I don't get why he's brought in from Arteta to be an eight, and then when he was brought in to be an eight, he then decided to play him striker, which does not work at all. We've seen that at Chelsea, and then all of a sudden now he decided in this game to put him as an eight again. I mean, next to Rice. It's just, it's unbelievable, bro. It's, and then Zinchenko. I told you, Zinchenko or Kivio, whoever you play left back, is a target. Is a genuine, genuine target, bro. Like, seriously. And then about Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, he cooked up the lick. Congratulations. But what does that, what does that get you, bro? What did it get him, man? The next game, he's looking uh, invisible. You know, I think you should have kept on the pitch. There was a somebody mentioned the list of I think it was you, Norta. You, you mentioned the list of players that should have stayed on the pitch. You know, really should have stayed on the pitch. I think Trossard should have stayed on the pitch, man. This guy is a killer. Generally, if he stayed on the pitch, maybe he would have given you something. Mm. That's the way I see it, man. You're a lot, you're a lot more confident then, yeah, to face Arsenal second leg at home. Hundred percent. I'll tell you something, Northside, and all of you guys. Yeah, there, there, there was no. There was no. Don't say it. Oh, one sec. There was no uh, Bayern fans at the Emirates, and we drew two two, and we were two one up at half time. You know how bad that is for you. That's awful, right? Defense exposed, mm. and we caught you on the counter attack, which surprisingly mm. I give two good credit for that, right? But then you come back because of an error that we made in a moment of brilliance with Jesus. Great. Now we're gonna have the fans. You're already rattled in this game. And same's gonna happen to the aliens, in my opinion. Mm. I hear that. I hear that. Carl, what do you make of the game, bro? Shocking, absolutely and utterly shocking. Can someone please tell me why Les Dennis is still playing at left back? Why? This guy just brings nothing, nothing to the team whatsoever. Kai Harris playing in midfield. Why? We we tried to do this at the start of the season, and it didn't work. So what makes you think it's going to work? Do it now. Partey needs the minutes. You could have started Jorginho and then rotated him to take Partey on. And Jesus, he's already stated he is not a goal scorer. He is not a clinical goal scorer. So why are you playing him as a false number nine? It's square pegs in round holes. And just that first half was, was great what we did, but we just never finished our chances. And then in the second half, Aston Villa did a thing called adjust. Something Arteta still does know fuck all about. And they knew that if they dominate the midfield, we will get overrun completely. I was looking at that game and I was like, you need to get Jorginho on or party on immediately because we're getting overrun here. But no, it was just, no, we're fine. We're fine. Ben White got taken off because he got yellow carded. Um, and I'm like, I would rather him stay on and actually attempt to defend than Zinchenko, who does not defend. I'm sorry, but that was just a that was the boneheaded decision what Arteta did there, and we deserved to lose this game. We deserved it. I could just tell there was a goal coming in the second half from Aston Villa, um, and I've said this and I and I've said this on a preview show a while back. 
the fact of the matter is we've gone through four different goalkeepers and yet still the only goalkeeper who's actually proved to be any sort of bloody good is actually the player we sold in Emmy Martinez. You keep Emmy Martinez, you save about 60 to 70 million on bloody goalkeepers. There's your high quality centre half or even better, your high quality midfielder or even better, a striker could actually put the ball in the back of the bloody net. There are so many different ways where Arteta has buggered up this squad in every way, shape and form. His in-game management, I have been calling this out now for the last three years and he has not changed. It has not changed. When are true Arsenal fans going to understand that this guy is just not that? I said at the start of the season, you need to win a piece of silverware. Don't give a crap if it's the Carabao Cup. At least you won a trophy. We're not certainly not going to do it against Bayern Munich. I don't think we will. And the Premier League, I've already seen people say, we're only two points behind City, it's not a problem. Please, please, can anyone on this panel name me one team, one team that will take points off Man City from here to the end of the season? I'll wait. Exactly. 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 This fan base is way too arrogant. And to be honest, the rest of this fan base deserve this humbling. They're arrogant in Europe. Arrogant, bro. Talking down to teams like we haven't been knocked out by teams like Olympiacos, Sporting, and teams like that. And they talk like, oh, we are heritage. We are not heritage, bro. We are no one to be talking down to teams. Oh, look at our run. Ah, easy run. I remember when so I was easy. putting out all the games I said that could be potential banana skins. Man United are rubbish. Really? Really? Look what they did against Liverpool. Yeah? They may be rubbish, but these teams still play a style of football that can nullify us and can hurt us. And they still have individuals that can turn up, even when their back's against the wall. But now, nah, are oh, they rubbish. This game, yeah, and I said it yesterday. Everybody was predicting. Most people that I spoke to were predicting, ah, Arsenal 3-0, Arsenal this. I didn't predict us to lose. I said a draw. Because I was like, nah, they're going to set up to nullify us. And everyone's like, nah, nah. I said, mm, I, I, I smell a draw. Even worse than a draw. Even worse than a draw. Yeah. And this is what I've been saying, bro. People take, oh, because you're playing well at the moment that, oh, nothing can go wrong. We have been saying, all of us have been saying, we come up against a team that nullifies our system or we don't put them to the sword, which we didn't in the first half. What are we going to do? Because when everybody, we have no specialist at scoring goals, bro. We don't. We don't have a specialist goal scorer, bro. So when the goals dry up and everybody keeps justifying that, oh, we got goals all around the team. Really? Really, because Trossard, chances fell to Trossard, Jesus, Saka, Odegaard, Havertz, all around. But nobody scored, bro. This is always going to happen. But it is what it is. Let's, let's, go, let's go to um, Francisco. Francisco, you've been there, there waiting uh, patiently. What do you make of this game, bro? Man, hello, Northside. Hello, panel. I'm absolutely fuming. What the fuck was this 11? Sinchenko on left back. Really? Midfield with Rice, Odegaard, and Averts. What the fuck? Party, did suddenly, if, if Arteta thought that a party was Nimes Keita, he was playing NBA for the Boston Celtics? Gabriel Jesus as our striker. And. <laughs> Yeah, Unai Emery spanked us, spank Arsenal again, again. And these super fans, this brain dead fish, the puta, thought Emery was not a proper manager. He should be sacked, should be gone. <laughs> How the fuck your lord and savior, Mikel Aterta, got outsmart? and outclassed tactically by Unai Emery. This is the third time that this happened. Once was it was when Unai Emery was training Villarreal and now twice under Aston Villa. The league is gone. It's done, bro. It's Champions done. League, Champions League, we got to get battered. This is why I wasn't happy when we got a draw against Man City. This is why. We leave ourselves with no, no room for error. And I said, if we draw another game, it's done. So even if it was going to end as a draw, I would have still said it's done. Now that we lost, it is done, bro. It is done. Man City are catching form. Look at what they did to Luton. Look at what they did to Luton, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Everybody's scoring now. 
everyone's scoring around there now. Yeah? And you know, they're not mentality donkeys, bro. They're actually mentality monsters. So you're absolutely correct. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Uh, it's static. deja vu all over again. Bro, move la pena, man. Move la pena. Static, bro. What, what, what you say, bro? Do you feel like Francisco? How, how, you, how you feeling, bro? Uh, Northside panel. It's great to see you, boys. I am absolutely pissed off with that performance. Uh, it's just... We played like we were the away team. And Aston Villa played like the home team. Well done, Unai Emery. He's done it again. That's what two wins in the last two wins out of three in the last last three games uh, against uh, Arteta. So, well done to him. Uh, can I just say, look, um, we got what we deserved. We showed no fight, no determination, no no hunger, nothing, no desire, nothing. Um, we totally got what we deserved. Um, it's un ad <laughs> it's advantage, Man City. They're going to win the league now. I'm sorry, I don't care what anyone says. Um, we it's this is a big opportunity. They're going to win the league now. I'm sorry. Yeah, go on, sorry, was there? Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, look, it's an advantage, Man City. They're going to win the league now. Um, I just they just they've been in this position 12 months ago, and every year for three consecutive years. They're not going to lose grip of this of first place. So I just, yeah, I can't see them letting go ever. So um, it's just when he, um, I was, I can't understand. I was going to say with Odegaard, look, I can't understand. Look, he was, in my opinion, in the game, he was all right, but I wouldn't have taken him off. I was furious when he took Trossard off um, instead of Saka because just after, what, 10 minutes, in my opinion, after 10 minutes, I didn't really see much of Saka. He just looked burned out very quickly. So mm. uh, it's just, but yeah, just, uh, and I want to point out that um, I'm absolutely disgusted with all the Arsenal fans that went to the home that were at the Emirates booing Martinez every time. Have you forgot he won you the FA Cup four years ago? Obviously, of course, all Arsenal fans, you know, I, I never, I was watching the game live. I didn't even boo him once because, you know, I haven't forgotten what he did because he played a huge part in, in our FA Cup success. But to just boo him the whole 90 minutes, I mean, what what is wrong with our fan base? And I, and of course, to all the fans that left, why, wh where are you going? I thought you were backing the process. I thought you were supporting Arteta. Where are you going? Why are you leaving five minutes before the end? Where are you going? Come on. Ah, oh, it's just, but look, it's uh, it's over. We're not going to win the league. I'm done. I've, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I hear it, bro. I hear it. I hear it. Listen, um, more people want to come in and have their say. So, Carl and Ahmad, love for jumping on, bro. We'll speak soon, yeah. When I allow other people to have their say, but big uh, up to you both of you, bro. You know what I mean? Love for jumping on, yeah. Love my guys. Love, love, love. Um, right. Cool, let's go in order. Right, who else is... Ozzy, what are you saying, bro? We'll go Ozzy, then we'll go to SG. Ozzy, what are you saying, bro? What's your thoughts? Brother, my, my blood is boiling, like proper boiling. I can't lie. When we didn't score in that first half, I knew the game was over. I knew the game was over. I knew the game was over. The amount of chances we had in the first half and no one could put the ball in the net. I knew it was going to be a long second half. A long mm. second half. These Arteta sexuals that, was, that are going on like Arteta's the second messiah got outclassed by Mr. Good Evening twice. Twice in the season. And he's not even an elite manager. But we got Arteta sexuals out here saying, oh, Arteta's a mastermind. Oh, Arteta's brain should be studied like he's Einstein or something. What the fuck has he done in four years? Oh, be happy. Oh, he's brought Arsenal to compete again. Do you just want to compete or do you want to win trophies? No one remembers second place. In 10 years' time, are they going to say, oh, Arsenal had a great team with Arteta, but they didn't win? It's absolutely ridiculous. Are you not seeing this again and again and again for 20 fucking years? We've witnessed the same shit with Arsenal, soft belly Arsenal, always folding when it comes under pressure. Oh, just be happy. Oh, you're negative. Mm. 
Oh, no, no, no world class players. We do not have a single world class player in this team. World class players turn up in these games. World class players turn up in the Champions League. World class players, despite of the the flipping system, world class no, 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 players up in the We ain't got players like that. It's a joke. We ain't got players like that, bro. bro do you know what the ironic thing is? The manager, bro. Do you know what the ironic thing thing is? Half this team that he's relying on, who brought them in the squad? The managers just cooked him. Martinelli, Saka, Saliba, Gabriel. Hey. This guy is clueless. Like you said, he's one-dimensional. I've been saying this guy from the first season, he managed Arsenal, Arteta's one-dimensional. If his plan A doesn't work, he's got no plan B. Man was just throwing on players to, to try and get a goal. You don't believe in these players. Bro, man gives ESR no games, and now when we're chasing a game, you're bringing him on. What kind yeah, of man? He, don't know what he, do. he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. Even the kid hasn't friend... got no run of games, bro, and you're just dashing him on. What kind bro. of game management is that, bro? And then because he didn't do nothing, I bet you any money he doesn't play the next game, bro. His game management stinks, bro. He's done the same thing with Trossard, bro. Trossard will perform, dropped on the bench. Today was a miracle that he started the game. That's rare. But players play well, can't break into the first team. Saka can drop a stinker all game. You know he's going to be selected next game. And don't tell me that Saka can't be dropped. Because Trossard can play all across that, that front three. But you know he won't. He bro, won't, bro. Saka, every year at this time of the season, he falls off. For the last three, four years, we know Saka. When it comes to April, he falls off. But there's no backup for him. There's no backup for him. What, play Nelson? Nelson could even do it in fucking, what was it, Leipzig or wherever he went in Germany. You expect him to do it in the Premier League? Uh, honestly, I'm done. I said you all like negative. Bro, what's positive about today? What's positive about not winning, what? Major Honest? What's positive about that? What's positive? I don't what's understand. Positive? I actually even said, and I stuck to it. I said, I'm not going to criticise this team no more, yeah? As long as they get wins. If we have bad performances, I'll let it slide. I ain't going to cast down the whole team. And I stuck to that. We were winning games. And I said, you know what? 10 games per goal. I'm allow it. Now, all it's about is getting the three points. Bun the, the flipping performances. Whatever. Get me the three yeah. points. But how am I going to... How are we going to sit here and justify this book? Explain to me how we're going to justify this. But man is... I'm, we're negative. Bro, go support. Go support your local... Well, you might as well go support Tottenham. Go support your local. Club. Bro, you might as well go fucking support Tottenham and shake your bum like fucking what's his name <laughs> that you had on your channel, Deji. Oh, my team's doing fucking great this season. As long as we beat fucking Arsenal, I'm happy. I don't care about third or fourth. It's crazy. You bro. might as well crazy. go support Chen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bro, make, I'm you you sexuals don't want to win trophies. You haven't won a trophy in 20 years. Some of you haven't even witnessed Arsenal win a trophy apart from an FA Cup, and you're happy being second. Competing, Pep no, do you know what it is? You know what it is? In the league, this you know what it is? They will rather the hold league. us to account, yeah. They'll rather hold us to account as fans than the players that are out in the pitch that can do a difference and the manager that can actually make a difference and us winning major honors. Well, we are put to account, yeah. But we actually have no effect as to what they do out there. We're not the tactic, we're, we're not managers, we're not players. It's down to them. But instead of putting it on them, they'll put, rather put that blame onto us. It's crazy, bro. I, I I never understand no, I don't it. Get, I don't get it. I don't get I it. But listen, Francisco, Francisco, yeah. for jumping on, bro. I'm going to move yeah. you on. Yeah? Need to go. Need to go. See you, man. See ya. Big up, bro. Big up. Big okay, up. Francisco. Okay, Francisco. Um, right. SG, you've been waiting patiently, bro. What's your thoughts on the game, bro? Ball of the game. Again, how many times is it going to be his bridesmaid and actually win the title? Our current Terry Fluis, we're scary. Is this a very scary performance? If we play against Esther Villa, imagine we play against Bayern Munich, they're gonna pam us. Done with that, or would you still give him a chance? Bun him. Who the hell is he? He's a cool man. No, no managerial experience. Imagine we shoot Arteta over Ancelotti. Ancelotti, who has managerial experience, won several Champions League and league titles, but according to Top Gunners, He's finished. Mm. But Ancelotti took an Everton to 10th place with a dead 
but look at right now they're bottom or final rele relegation right now instead of buying Kai Havertz we could have bought a striker and said but current top goods we don't need a striker look at the chance we created but no one can put it back in the net mm. is this really good enough honestly we better talk to them oh you're happy with your mediocrity but you're happy you just finish your second we competed is that really a big club should operate honestly if Arteta does win sack that Abaha was Kelka out of my football club immediately I hear it bro I hear it bro I hear it listen I get it man everyone everyone's triggered bro everyone's fuming um Elijah what are you mm. saying bro Think it's the first time on the channel what's your, what's your thoughts yeah. bro Honestly, north side, I am absolutely fuming. I mean, I think we're lucky enough that this game could have been 4 0 Vida because they hit the both poles twice in both halves. So we are very lucky not to be four. But honestly, I mean, if Arteta, yeah, bottles the Champions League and the Premier League, for me, he's got to go. And I didn't want him in the first place. I really didn't, you know, because how the hell can he spend more than 700 million pounds? And you've already won the FA Cup and the Community Shield twice. And you bottled the Europa League, the Premier last season. And if we lose against Bayern Munich on Wednesday, if we play like that, then he's going to bottle it again. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, his game managerial for me was absolutely terrible. Like, Mats Odegaard was our only best player. And then you take him off. As soon as that happened, I just knew we were going to lose this game because his game management is absolutely horrendous. Like... And by the way, he's not the only reason why we've lost today. The players out there were horrendous, you know. Um, Saka, you know, non-existent, you know. You know, two dribbles and none of them, you know, just missed so many chances. Like, Trossard was poor. Declan Weiss, I mean, he was shocking, especially in the second half. I mean, look at the first goal. You know, Declan Weiss was not even tracking Leon Bailey. He was all by himself from that goal. And I keep and I keep on saying this. You gave players much space, they were likely to score, and that's what Leon Bailey did, you know. And I look at the statistics here, as if really deserved the win because they had two shots on target, and both of them were goals. Yeah. We had four shots on target for 90 minutes, but we cannot put in about the net. And like you said, Northside, we need a striker, you know, that can be like Ollie Watkins, like Erling Collins, like, you know, um, Dominic Solanke. We need those type of strikers because if we don't sign a striker, then it's going to be the exact same thing over and over again. Because in the first half, we were really good. We were creating chances, but we couldn't put in the back of the net. So, mm. yeah, I like that person said, many people are booing Martinez, but look what he done for us. He's won the FA Cup and he made some big saves yeah, today and also in the um, World Cup as well. That's why he's a really good goalkeeper. So anyone who's booing him, you know, ought to be ashamed. And also, like you said, why the Arsenal fans leaving early? Why? I thought you were, like, back in his process and um, saying that Mikel Tet is the right guy. For me, he's not it. He's not it. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not over yet. But if we keep dropping points and if we um, keep on losing games, then for me, it's over. And we allowed City to win the Premier League again. And for me, it's an absolute disgrace. So, honestly, I feel like if Mikel Arteta doesn't get sacked this season, then the owners need to go as well. Because they don't care about Arsenal at all. They only care about his money, not the fans, not the club. All they care about is themselves. So, honestly, we need a striker. We need a new manager. And if we don't fix it, it's going to be over and over again. Like... Another season with no trophy. And for me, it's not good enough because we're a big club. And the aim this season is to win trophies. Yeah. Like finishing the top four is good, but winning trophies is all that matters, you know? Because if we don't win it, then other teams could catch up to us, like the likes of Man City. If we keep on um like um not winning trophies and Man City do it every season, they can go above us, and that could be embarrassing. So we need a better manager, some better players, another strike, like a prolific striker who knows how to score goals, and they will be fine. But if it goes on like this, then it's over. So yeah, I'm just fuming, man. Really fuming. Now, I hear what you're saying. I think it's important what you just said about, you know, uh, fans walking out. Fans always like to say, oh, you guys that are on the on the internet, on YouTube, talking about the club, and, and you guys are negative. Look at how it can affect the team. 
Look at how that can affect the team. You're walking out, the game's still on, and the players are seeing that. Because best believe all the players are clocking that people are leaving the stadium. You can tell when the stadium's empty or when the stadium's full. You can tell when the crowd is behind you and when the crowd is not. That's more negative. We wasn't live. So you can't say, oh, we, we, we were affecting the team. We're not, we weren't live while the game was on. Within 90 minutes, we're supporting the team. You man are leaving. But then saying that what we do affect the team. What you're doing is affecting the team. Turning your back on the team. Turning your back on the process that you're shoving down our throat that we have to back. And you're doing that for all the players and Arteta to see. I think that's more toxic than negative, if I'll be completely honest. I think you're bang mm. on when you say yeah. that. No, I should be the manager, bro. You don't want me to be yeah. the manager because I'll be like my mum, yeah? And Angolan mm. mums, everyone's getting this. Everyone today will be getting this, mm. yeah? Through the tunnel, in the changing rooms, everyone's getting whacked up, bro. Everyone's getting whacked up. Do you know what I'm saying? So, mm. listen, you don't want me yeah. to be the manager, bro, because I will not be sugarcoating. Yes. Yeah. That is what it is. But, listen, we're going to get to... Um, Mac Cram, what have you got to say about this performance, bro? No, big up to you and all the guys. I'm from Tunisia. Uh, uh, big up, bro. My North African thanks, brother. What are you saying? Tell me. Thanks. Well, I've seen uh, the lineups of the, both of the teams. Uh, I've seen our lineup. Uh, it looked uh, promising. Yeah, we got so many talented players, uh, creative players, the likes of uh, Zinchenko, not talking defensively, he's, he's creative, yeah, he got uh, producer for us in general. And I've seen the well, lineup. Speak a bit, of, a bit louder, bro. It's not picking up on the mic. Speak a bit louder, please. And I've seen the lineup of uh, Aston Villa. I've seen they got uh, injuries the likes of Kamara and uh, Buendia. Also, Douglas Luiz uh, was out because of the yellow card. And they got uh, uh, the guy who scored. Bailey. He was on the bench. Also, Matikash and the other players, they were on the bench. And I, I thought, yeah, we can do it. A tough game, yeah. but we can do it. It was a fantastic first half, especially from Odegaard. Then the second half, everything changed. You know why? Because it was a masterclass from Onai Emery. It was yeah. a masterclass. He beat uh, Arteta tactically. You know? You were ruthless. I, I've seen the, the, the faces of our players, Gabriel and Michel Arras. You can see they're not winning this game. Mm. They are not absolutely not winning this game. Especially do, after do you the think, do you think we still game. have a chance to win the league? Absolutely not. Absolutely. It's done for you? You go into Stanford, uh, to uh, Old Trafford, you go into uh, White Shite Lane, you go, you. you absolutely not. I don't think so. It's done. The mentality yeah, is here. Imagine how that. they play against Bayern. Mm. How do you expect them to perform against Bayern? Mm. I don't if we play that. like that against Bayern, we're going to lose. You saw the Bayern Munich fan that jumped on. He, he's he's happy, bro. He's confident. They should be yeah. confident. The, the way that we're playing this game. And you know what? It's there's uh, This is what I mean. When, when games are not... All, sometimes it's players that win you a game and sometimes it's your manager. There are games where it's a tactical game and your manager has to get you through. When it was against Porto, tactically, within 90 minutes, in two legs, he was unable to coach us to a win. Today, a tactical game, Unai Emery didn't leave any space in behind. They never got nervy, even though we had so many chances in the first half. Arteta never rose to the occasion. He was he was shaken up. He didn't know what to do. And this no, is no, why I don't rate him as a manager. I was talking about. What did Onai Emery told these players? Give them the first half. Let's survive the first half. Let's not concede the goal. The, the second mm. half will be ours. And that was happening. Mm. Everything was done. We need to strike no, like what? Facts. 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 Uh, Carl Walsh, what are you telling me, bro? How do you feel about the game, bro? Yeah, big up to you, Northside Static and all the lads there in the chat. Northside, close the night, I was watching the Bayern Munich game. And after the match, I said, that's the season finished. I could see that the players were leggy out of ideas. We have a manager that's managed us that we've all said that we're not going to win anything under this manager. And once again, we're after blowing us. Northside, how is it that I was able to predict back in November that we were winning nothing? I have an Arsenal YouTube channel. Static knows me, Static Battaglia. And I actually came down off our social media platforms. 
because of the abuse that I was getting for being a negative Arsenal fan, for telling what is now the truth, that we once again will fail. We are not a big club. We are not going to win any major trophies under this manager. I don't care if this man stays here for the next 20 years. We are winning nothing underneath this man. He was absolutely destroyed today by Unai Emery. This is a shambles, what's going on. And Northside, something has to be said here, because I'm sick to tip to my teeth of this. Players are being overhyped. We're talking about star boy, Saka. Saka has been disappearing when it matters. Odegaard, when it matters, where's our captain? He got a little tip there today on his chest, and he fell down, you swear he was after getting shot. Would you see Tony Adams doing that? David O'Leary. The thing is, the whole thing is a shambles from top to bottom. But the top gunner fans there thinks the nose at all. We're going to win this. We're going to win that. Everybody's celebrating, making these players out to be something that they're not. Listen to my words. We are winning nothing. I came off social media because I wasn't able to listen to us. But I'm coming back on my YouTube channel starting tonight. And I'm putting up a video the facts. Because I sat back Northside and I gave the, the boy, the lads, their opportunity to prove me wrong. But they haven't proved me wrong. They proved me right once again. Bottle jobs. League is over. And lads, don't, don't be gassing up the whole situation and thinking for one minute that we're going to win the Champions League. Because that ain't happening either. So forget about it. Season over. And I don't want to hear, oh, it was a great achievement, second base, and we end up in the top four. What an achievement. Don't want to hear about it. We're in the Champions League as it is, and where are we going in the Champions League? We're going nowhere. So fuck fourth place, third place, and second place. I want number one. 38 years supporting this club. 38. I've watched the stiff five league titles. And now I'm gone 20 years below the league title. It's a joke. And I hear lads talking about building statues of Arteta outside the stadium. Are you joking me? <laughs> the whole thing is embarrassing. They can't even get the crest right. We move from Highbury to the Emirates. It's The whole thing is a shambles. It's a joke. I grew up watching the great players, the Tony Adams, the David O'Leary's. I was lucky enough to get to see all the great player, Burkamp, Veer, Henri, and all them lads. What are them lads thinking today? Gassing up Saka like they're choosing night for the penalty against Bayern Munich. He dived. He dived. There wasn't a penalty. And we were outclassed by Bayern Munich. The same way as we were outclassed today by Aston Villa. Mm. Forget about it. I said I'd jump on the other side because I'm fuming. I'm 38 years going on, 40 years support this club. I'm absolutely fuming what's going on with my club. It's not the club that I grew up loving. I'm done with these gangsters. They're, they're all gangsters getting their big paychecks. They don't care. And you know something? I'm going to say this. When I saw Martin Eddy and he laughing and joking with Martinez at the end of that game, I nearly put the TV out through the window. And if I was staring the stadium, I would have ran out to the pitch and I would have wrapped him around the crossbar and asked him, what the hell is he laughing at? we just blown another league title. So, no, I'm sorry, man, for getting a bit mad there. But no, 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 get it out, bro. Get it out, Kyle, get it out, bro. This this channel, you can get it out, bro. Don't worry I'm about it. I'm just sick and tired of it, Northside. I'm sick and tired of it, man. And lads gassing these lads up to be some kind of disarteted. The songs I'm hearing about disarteted, making them out to be a genius, a football genius. He ain't good enough for this club. Get them out and get them out. Now I've been saying it for the last four or five years. And I'm listening to the fans saying, give him another year. What is he going to do next year? He's going to do nothing again next year. I'm sick of it. Wake up. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to let other lads talk there, man, because I'm fuming. I hear it, bro. I get it, man. I get it. Listen. This channel, you can get it out, man. You can get it out because we need to get it out, bro. You know what I mean? You need to get it out. Like you said, you're supporting Arsenal longer than me. I can understand what you you had enough because I've had enough, bro. I've had enough, bro. You know what I mean? And and the, the mad thing is before this game, I was even talking to my girl 
She's born in, well, she was born in Hackney, but raised 95% of her life in, in Islington. Um, and I said, yo, imagine, man, like we win the league. Like, imagine, I was already telling her, I was like, yo, I ain't getting carried away, but imagine if we do. She's like, what are you going to do? I said, I don't care. I just want to win the league. I said, I don't yeah. care if I'm right or wrong. I couldn't give a shit. I just want to win the league. Like, yeah. I was so busy celebrating winning the league. They can call me whatever they want to call me. I was already thinking that like, Liverpool lost. Could we do it? Yeah. And then they do this and put a dagger through your heart. This is what mm. people don't understand. We want to believe. We want to. We want the club to do well. We want to be proven wrong. But they keep mm. proving us right. I want to go to the parade. I want to. I want to celebrate, bro. I've never. I've never gone to the parade. Arsenal winning and and then seeing it live. I always saw it through TV. I'm old enough now. I can go down there. Me and my girl, both Arsenal fans, have that experience. Tell my children. I want to have those experiences. And this Northside. is what pisses me off because I don't have those experiences. I what am I going to tell my there. kids? Oh, well, you're going to be an Arsenal fan just because your mum and dad are Arsenal fans. But we don't do nothing. We don't win anything. Why is he going to be an Arsenal fan? I just want to come in there, Northside, and tell you, I have a 14-year-old daughter. One child. And she, she turned 14 last week. And I tried to bring her up as an Arsenal fan. And she was so happy this season because she said to me, Dad, I'm actually going to see us win the league. And now she's telling me, forget about it. 14. My woman is sitting in there behind me. And today, she knows nothing about football. And she was able to tell me that Aston Villa were by far a better team than Arsenal today. It looked to me like Aston Villa was trying to win the Premier League and not fucking Arsenal. Mm. I'm sick to tell them at Northside. We're playing for the title. It's terrible. It's terrible. Northside, for me, I go over to Arsenal to watch a match. I have to drive two hours, man, to get to the airport. I have to then get an airplane over to England to stand state. Then I have to get a train. Then I have to get the underground. Then I have to go in to see the match. And I have to do all the same thing to come back on the same day. And it costs a lot of money to go up to look at that dirt. And players not even trying when it matters. It's a disgrace. They're a disgrace. I'll take the out, out, out. That's it, Northside. I'll let you get on for sure, man. That's it. I'm sick, static. Big up to your brother. You know what, what the story is, my friend. Kyle, what's yeah, your channel? Up, big up, what's Kyle, your channel? You're always Where can we find you? The channel, bro. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll drop in again, Northside. You'll see me before the end of the season because we will be having a little chat again about this disgrace of a club. And you're going to see a lot more content than static on my channel there, my friend. So I'll keep an eye out for it. Static, I'll give you a shout, my brother. All right? Thank you, bro. Big up, Carl, man. Big up, bro. Thanks, love lads. Bro. Big up, Northside. That's why, that's why I love the Irish, man. They say it's straight. They're Sorry, Northside. Sorry, Sorry, bro. I just want to say, um, to, in case anyone was wondering, you can find Kyle uh, at Kyle Wash Gunner on YouTube. Go and subscribe. He's a good man. Absolutely loves Arsenal. There you go. Unfortunately, I'm going live with Deji. I won't be able to get through everyone that wants to come on and have their say today. I'm, uh, I'm going to have to apologise. I promise Deji I'll jump on if Arsenal win or lose. Unlike this team, I don't duck, I don't hide. Yeah, I'm always here. So, we turn up. You know what I'm saying? We North turn up. It's unfortunate this team doesn't always turn up. But yeah. No, so before you have the show, can we... going to be able to have their say. Uh, with the we panel, share. I want to quickly get everybody's match prediction um, yeah, for the Bayern Munich it. game. Let's start with SG and we'll go around. SG. We won Bayern Munich. 3-1 Bayern, yeah? Yep. Static? We're going to lose 2 0. And can I just quickly say, if um, and I'm going to be shameless here, uh, if you if anyone wants to follow me on Instagram, it's static underscore underscore five. And that's it from me. I'll titter out. There you go. There you go. Um, Matt Cram, uh, what's your uh, match prediction, bro? Arsenal by Munich. 3 1 for Bayern. 3 1. For Bayern, yeah. For Bayern. I hope you're wrong. I hope you're wrong. Fair enough. Elijah. Um, 2 0 Bayern because <laughs> I feel like this team is going to do, it's just going to have that same performance as Bayern, you know, because we're away from home. We don't have a good record there. I mean, for the last we went there was 5 1. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen again, but we'll probably go out. And you know, the worst thing is Northside. Why is Shaka? Has left Arsenal and have had Leverkusen won the title. 
it's a disgrace, man. Our best player in our season has gone over to left because he won the title. I mean, it's just a disgrace, man. And the fact that Kuna Emery had taken six points of off is just another disgrace. And we haven't even scored in both games as well. Like, I don't know what's going on with this club, but I'm just I'm just so angry, you know, that Fanny Shaka, you know, was this close winning the title for Arsenal, but this season is going for Leverkusen. Like, I just don't get with this club, man. It's just, it's just a disgrace from top to bottom, man. I'm not okay. At all, not both of them. I hear it. Ozzy, what's your match prediction, bro? Bro, does it even fucking matter at this point? <laughs> <laughs> does it even matter, bro? <laughs> oh, big up teeth for actually making me laugh. When I'm <laughs> bro, you, know, you know what? You know, uh, does it even matter, bro? Does it even matter? I don't even care, bro. Uh, I'm done, bro. You don't care. I'm kind of with you. I don't care either. The only I way, agree too. bro. We, every season we go through the same shit. We, bruv, and your blood boils, boils, and it goes. It's fine. Twenty man. years. Twenty. We years. never learn. We never learn. Year Soft in belly and year ask, out. Soft belly ask. Trust the process. Oh, Zinchenko is <laughs> a leader. That's why he's in the team. He's a leader. This fucking Stuart Little, man. Send him to Ukraine, bruv. Give him a, a pussy cough and let him fight his fucking war, bruv. Fake leaders. Oh, wait, well, definitely doesn't want to be here. Listen, big up to all of you lot on the panel. Big up to everyone that wanted to jump on. Like I said, I apologize. I'm jumping on Deji, Deji Spurs. He's going to be trying to do the Bandulu thing. So I'm going to be live with him right now. I'm actually seven minutes late trying to get everybody to have their say. Uh, big up to everybody that always jumps on. Big up to the panel. Big up to all of you lot that always want to have your say, always want to express yourselves. Like I said, you guys may want to say more. I try to get everybody to have their say because I think it's good. And also, I like to hear what how you guys think. So, big up to everybody. Can't always, you know, go on forever. But um, I appreciate everybody uh, input. Arsenal once again. Um, another season. We're not going to win a major. We're not doing it, and um, it's a shame because this was a big season. Um, that they could have won us over. The season that Arteta could have won us over. We could have been Arteta in. I'm ready to be Arteta in if he won the league. But it's not going to happen. But anyway, people, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. We are going to redirect to This Is Football, where Hussam is trying to do the Bandulu thing. Um, apparently, he's clipping me up tomorrow. It's going to be quite hard because I never go with the, I never the, the, the top three of Kool-Aid. So, yeah, he can try, but he won't, he won't, he won't have to. But anyway, it's free promotion, so you keep going, innit? Make sure you link my channel in the title. Otherwise, I'm doing you for copyright. Anyway, make sure you like and subscribe, and we're out, Kadamba. Love you.